YouTube, super Oh, I don't like you. And today we have an epic video, but first I want to ask you to check out the channel and subscribe for more amazing videos. And please, you guys remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. All right, you guys, today we are opening the amazing, the Ignition Assault first edition booster box here uh, that just came from the people. And uh, we're very excited for this set, you guys. It's, it's pretty dang good. We talked about it already, of course, with the Lightning Storm video. Um, incredible card, freaking Harpy's Feather Dust Rig Egg in the same time. Also in here, uh, some amazing archetypes uh, at Ignisters, as well as Card Curry's coming back. Time Thieves getting a ton of support. And uh, let's check it out, you guys. Ancient Warriors are in here. A lot of epic pictures and cards inside. Very excited for the set. And we will have all of these cards, you guys, on SimpleUnlucky.com. If you guys want to check it out, link at the top of the description below. We'll definitely have the booster box and the singles, but of course the deck cores put together for you guys. Um, trying to save you some some value, some money on the cards. Okay, here we go. First pack here, we got the Daruma Guard Ghost. Karakuri is a little toad. I like the Karakuris. Megaliths, Megalith a promotion. Nice. Megalith cards are kind of these massive ritual monsters. And most of them have quick effects as well. They're pretty dang good. Um, very nice. Chronomalies. Hey, Piccolo and the Peeps. <laughs> that is Scrap Kong on the shirts there. Look at this guy. He's so happy. So happy. Not so happy. <laughs> uh, this is the Winds of Mischief. Pretty good dragon card. And Trans. Okay. <laughs> Next pack here. Come on, you guys. Believe in the heart of the cards. We need some love here. Starlight, Star Bright. Speaking of which, we have not pulled one of those in a video. Time Thief. Nice. And then, oh baby, start not strong with a lightning storm. And I was just gonna mention, this is a $100 challenge, um, but so much for this card. You guys, this is a short print card as well. Uh, lightning storm is very, very hard to pull. I uh, think that from what we know, it's about two per case um, around there. Not a phantasma ratio, but still very hard to get. So let's talk about it, you guys. I know we've already pulled it, already talked about it, but man, to pull another one for the booster box challenge, it's very nice. If you control no face up cards, activate one of these effects. Destroy all attack position monsters, opponent controls, or the amazing, the beautiful Harpy's Feather Dust. Destroy all spell and traps. Opponent controls. Only activate one per turn. Man. All right, you guys. Well, already godly, just because of one card. I feel like we're cheating. We're cheating a little bit with this challenge, but it's kind of on the same level as a Starlight Star Bright. So, very nice. Now, what I haven't seen is us the same box getting Starlight Red and the amazing Lightning Storm. All right. So here we go. This is it. Oh, thanks to our friends at Orange Pro. We're gonna bring out the white Pro Eclipse today. Just leave up our lightning storm. And this card loves us. It just follows us around. Just every time we go somewhere, there's just a lightning storm appears. <laughs> it's our introduction. All right. Man. All right, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Here we go. Time Thief cards. This is the Chrono Quarter. Link Party. Love this guy. We talked about this in the last set. First off, it's kind of got, got a different art or chibi art going on for all these pictures. And then also it's uh, pretty cool. I like the multiple effects when cards do that. So depending on the number of link attribute monsters on the field. Unchained are back. We've got the uh, Ancient Warrior Saga. Megaliths again. Car Curry. Got the Mr. cards there. A couple of cool short print commons and rares that I'd like to talk about with you guys. Already a crazy video. Link Party again. Uh, charged up. New generator card. This is the boss of delusion. It's pretty good. You can only control one of these guys and then quick effect. Tribute to generator or rock and then target a card on the field and banish it. Quick effect for that. Pretty cool. AI reform. So oh, here's the Oogle Loop. <laughs> I don't know what, like what, what exactly is going on with this card? I feel like I want to just, if this card's in your hand, target a synchro monster you control or in the grave and banish it. Then special summon this card. If this card's in your grave, you can target a synchro monster you control or in your grave, banish it. If you do, add this card to your hand. <laughs> That's why it's the Oogle Loop. <laughs> All right. I got like a Cyber Dragon type effect or something. Uh, card Curry Oil. There you go. Charged up. And nice! An ultra rare Red Beard, the Plunder Patrol Matey. Um, and I want to take note of these Planet Patrol cards, you guys. It is a TCG exclusive, and it's also all fiends. When's the last time you guys saw a fiend archetype? I feel like I was talking to Konami not too long ago, and they were like, 
haven't seen too much of Fiends lately, I think. <laughs> and so here they are with the Plunder Patrol cards. This card's actually one of the shorter print Ultras in the set, I believe. I think it's the Red Beard and the White Beard, so pretty cool um, pull here. This is during your opponent's turn. Quick effect, special summon a Plunder Patrol monster from the extra deck with the same attribute as a monster your opponent controls or is in their grave, and then equip this card you control to that card. Pretty good. Target a Plunder Patrol monster and then equip this card to it. So they go around equipping things and doing crazy stuff like that and also bringing out the Xyz monsters, or the extra deck monsters, I should say. So, very nice. Go ahead and sleeve that up. Sky Striker. Uh, maneuver, this is the scissors. Pretty dang good card for the, uh, or it came out ultra red. And the sleeping. So let's see this one, destroying him. All right, already a really good box, pulling two more short printed cards in the set. We'll talk about ratios, you guys, more or less in a massive opening. Let us know in the comments below, you guys. Do you guys want, if you want to see a massive opening, kind of like we did with the LED6 or Magical Heroes? Let us know in the comments below if you guys want to see that. And we can talk about some of the different ratios for the set. Maybe bring Simply Alex in. Shiny Black Sea Squatter. Nine Lives Cat. This is a pretty cool card. And Ignister. Ancient Warriors. Fire Phoenix at Ignister. This is one of the more boss monsters in the set. Let's see what else we get. Oh, there's the Winds of Mischief again. And about halfway through this left side here. Let's see what we can get. And Ignister. Nine Lives Cat again. And Megalith, we got the uh, plant here. Can't destroy the battle with plenty of effects. Need to play can target face up spell or trap card you control with effects. Very nice. And at Nimister Water Leviathan. Oh, hey, Picaru and uh, oh, I forget what the other one was. Let me know in the comments below. Both players must keep their hands revealed. What? Why their hands are revealed by this effect? Both players have a card with the same name. Neither player can activate that. <laughs> That's cool. Give me comments. Okay. Lightning Storm and Redbeard. Yeah. $100 uh, challenge, you guys. Just obliterated. But that's kind of normal if you guys get one of these amazing cards. Battle Survivor, Squeak Knights. Kuju Kiri Curse. This is another short print card in the set. Send a level 9 monster from your hand or face up on the field to the grave to draw two. What? That's really good. And then we have Earth Golem at Ignister. Uh, potentially a super poly target as well with the Cybers and Link. Car Curry Cash In, got the Uvalu, and Ghost Trick cards, you guys, very nice. All right, four packs left on the right side. I have not seen a box with three secrets for this set, and I don't know if it's possible if you can pull a secret and a, two secrets and a pris prismatic slash, what is it? Starry Night, Starry Bright, Starlight cards. All right, we have Time Thief Perpetua here, though. I really want to talk about her. She's two level fours, and probably the new kind of like boss monster for the Time Thieves. It's during the stamina phase, detach material from this card, then target a Time Thief monster in your grave, accept her and special summon it. Already good, and then quick effect. Go grab a Time Thief card from your deck and attach it to um, an Xyz monster as material. Insanity, you guys, insanity, that's Perpetua. Definitely one of my favorite cards in the set, and I'm excited to make some deck cores for Time Thief. And of course, of course, we get three Time Thief cards in one pack. This is retrograde, this card's insane. Um, when a spell or trap is activated while you control Time Thief exceeds, negate it and then add it as a material. What? Crazy. All right, three packs left. Let's see what else we can get. This is the new Ignition Assault. Nice. This is the Light Dragon at Ignister. I don't know. I don't know about this whole at Ignister thing. What do you guys think about that? That's that's new. I guess uh, the Danger Monsters have those exclamation points and question marks. Uh, mutually a destruction. Okay, two more packs here. Uh, another cool card we haven't really talked about here is the sheep card. Let's see if we can get that. Ooh, Dark Templar. This is a really cool card. Um, wow. This is another boss monster for the At Ignister cards. And it's pretty good. If monsters are su special summoned to zones that this guy points to, you can special summon as many level four lower it Ignister monsters from the grave as possible to the other zones this guy points to. Effects are negated. When this card destroys the most opponent's monster by battle, special summon Cyrus monster from your grave. Pretty cool. Those at Industry cards kind of fly out pretty quickly. They all go grab different spells or monsters from the deck. Kind of thief. Cat fighter. Go ahead and sleeve up our Templar over here. It's a pretty sweet box, you guys. 
Got to show you some of the more epic cards in the set. The last pack of Destiny on the right side here. We got the Xyz card, Megalith, Gravity Controller, Code Talker is back, Ancient Warriors. And, um, and just in case you guys, um, some of the boxes have our little maps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw these three packs on the bottom and then we'll do these ones first. Let's see what happens. All right, Guard Ghost, AI Ritual, here are you. Uh, this is Pegasus, the uh, Twin Twister card. This is the Ignister card, it's really good. Uh, Synchro card. Plunder Patrol, nice. Megalith cards again. Water Leviathan. Yeah. What else are we trying to get you guys, other than our uh, Starlight Rare? Oh, there we go. The short print comment of the set. I wanted to talk about this with you guys. This is the Double Edge Sword. You can only control one Double Edge Sword. Equip Monster gains 2,000 attack. 2,000 attack. Imagine if this card was used back in the day. Both players take any battle damage from attacks involving the monster. If you take 2,000 or more, destroy this or send this card to the grave. Ooh, Ancient Warriors Virtuous. Lose one. And this. And another Ancient Warrior there. This is the Eccentric Illusion. And Ignister cards. Retro Gray. Looks like we've seen most of the commons in the set now that we have to see the short print card. I just want to throw that right there. Very cool. All right, Lightning Storm. Can't complain from here, you guys, but let's see if something magical Something godly can happen. Bellcat. Puppets. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Nine lives cat. Um, this card's pretty cool. It's a target level. You can detach one material from this card, then target level nine monster in the grave, and then uh, special summon. Add Ignis to card curries. Shogun, nice. Berebe. Fire Phoenix. Still haven't seen the. Um, Oops, Time Thieves. The sheep. Where's the sheep? Ah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Time Thieves again. Double Edged Sword. Hey, hey, hey. Mega Lids. Nine Lives. Ancient Warriors. <laughs> you guys feel it? This box is feeling a little heavy right now. I'm like, what is. I feel like it might be a good time for this. Starlight, Star Bright. You guys feel the fire? Feel the fire. Here we go. Yugi boy! Ritual. Nice. Light dragon. That's a plunder patrol shipyard. Field spell. Very cool. Uh, Kara curry cards. I really like Kara curries, you guys. Uh, behind the six samurais. I guess they're kind of like samurais, so maybe that's why I liked them. <laughs> Back in the day, I did like doing some crazy shenanigans with that deck. Okay. And just seeing the lightning storm in the background, I don't know if uh, the people <laughs> are enjoying that, but that is a crazy card. Crazy card. Okay, Squeak Knight's back. A Jack of Bowling. Talked about that guy. Special summon zombies from the grave. Very powerful card. Ooh, cross sheet. There we go. Finally, one in the box, man. Hard to pull. Here we go. Two monsters with different names. That's all. Look at those arrows, too. Very nice arrows. If a monster is special summoned to a zone, this card points to apply the effects. Wow. Apply the effects in sequence based on the card type of the monster. Ritual, draw two, then discard two. That is incredible, already incredible. And then fusion, special summon a level four lower monster from the grave. What? And you're already using monsters to fusion summon, so. And then secret and exceeds is plus 700 to guys and minus 700 from opponents. Wow. Crazy, cross sheep, there we go. Kinda wanna sleeve that cross sheep card. Very cool. People thought that'd be like a secret way. Absolutely amazing. All right, you guys. This is it. Put the cards. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, Sky Striker Rose. There we go. Ultra rare. Man, this box is fire. Another one of the better ultras in the set. Man. Okay. Oh, an ancient lightcraft. It's like, is that really a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Very nice. Send off as a comment. Hey, there's a Uva Loop. Who the loop to Uva Loop? Okay. Last pack on the right here. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. 
Witchcrafter Jenny, nice. Jenny is very good. Beautiful picture though, let me see if I can give you guys a nice close up of her. I feel like Konami tried to censor her a little bit, but don't know if it worked. Uh, very good card though, you guys. You can tribute her and discard a spell to special summon Witchcrafter monster from the deck. And I think you can apply that effect to other monsters as well. Very powerful. Ooh, Piccolo and the Peeps! Matching outfits with Scrap Kong. <laughs> okay. All right, a few packs over here, and let's see what happens. Um, if we're gonna sleeve her up, use a green sleeve for Rose. Probably need a red sleeve, but that's okay. Very nice. All right, you guys, so out of the last few packs in here, we're definitely hoping to try to pull some of the other secret rares in the set. You have the plunder cards, you have the AI, uh, AI Island. That's a very nice card, also a short print in the set. Also another short print would be Gizmet Kaku. That guy is absolutely insane. I would love to show you that card as well. Not too sure if Konami allows us to pull two short prints though in the same box. You know, you don't see that very much. But if we believe in the heart of the cards, anything can happen. Here we go. Yu-Gi-Oh! I recall. Card curries. Last two packs of Destiny. Come on, Kaiba! Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, nice! Plunder Patrol ship. This is Brawn. Um, definitely, I think, one of the better uh, Plunder Patrol cards here. It's a tuner, non tuner monster to make it. Although the Fiend monster is getting 500, because why not? And then you can discard Plunder Patrol card, turn a spell or trap your opponent controls, and banish it. Already good. And then add a Plunder Patrol monster from your deck to your hand. And this is a quick effect if you haven't played this. Control monster. Wow, nice box, you guys. Four ultras already. Very nice. So the only thing left to pull is a um, Starlight Star Bright. Okay. <laughs> That's what we're missing. Here we go. Last pack of this. Link Party, Megalith, Code Talker. And the, uh, the uh, light craft is back. Oh, it's an arc jet. I didn't even realize it said arc jet. Nice. Oh, can't forget about the obsessive Oogaloo. <laughs> Very nice. Overall, you guys, this set is pretty dang insane. Um, of course, having a very valuable card like this to just obliterate challenges with. Overall, though, when you have cards that are this valuable, you have to be careful creating like a price ceiling or value ceiling on some of the other cards. So you may not see an ultra rare that ends up being um, kind of on the same level as you've seen Ultras in other sets, and also even Secrets. But you do have the Gizmet Kaku in here, which is a very powerful card as well. But yeah, you guys, this is Ignition Assault. This set is awesome. Again, you guys check out simpleandlucky.com. Link towards the top of the description below um, for some singles, booster boxes, deck cores of the um, Plunder Patrol, at Ignisters, Time Thieves. Um, so go check that out when you guys have a chance. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a Thumbs up if you enjoy the content, subscribe for more Epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and Super Unlucky, signing out.